how to set up, install, and use a Facebook Pixel. That's what we're gonna learn in today's Facebook Pixel tutorial video for beginners. The Pixel is super important if you wanna profitably run Facebook ads. Facebook understands what happens on Facebook or on Instagram with its ads. Who is it being shown to? Are people clicking, sharing, watching a video, things like that. But if they click on and go to your website, it's a big black box for Facebook unless you have the Pixel installed. If the Pixel is installed, you know if someone added something to a cart, what pages they viewed, did they sign up for something? Did they make a purchase? So essentially, if you wanted to spend $100 on Facebook ads looking for purchases, you could basically see if, hey, the purchase on my website came from the ads or if they came from somewhere else. And then you can know, hey, was this campaign profitable or not? So we're basically gonna run you through all the basics of getting this set up so you can run Facebook ads. Okay, so to get started, go to business.facebook.com. If you haven't already created a Facebook business manager or business suite account, that's the video I created last week and I'll link to that right here. Once you have that all set up, the next step to create your pixel, it may look a little different depending on what screen it's essentially showing you. Facebook is going through some changes, basically moving from business manager to business suite, but don't worry, I'll show you no matter what it's showing you right now, how to basically get in and create your pixel. So right here, it says Facebook business suite to get to the pixel. If it looks like this, click on more tools and then you have events manager. If it has this little arrow like this, it's going to pop out into another page. And then you're gonna do something like this. So you have an offline event set already created for you. And to create the pixel, basically you wanna click on connect data sources. And then here you would click on web and go through each of the additional steps for creating a pixel. So that's if it, you're in Facebook Business Suite. And then I'll basically show you if you see what essentially the traditional business manager looks like. Here you can get to it from more business settings and it looks something like this. And so if you go down again, you see data sources and pixel, and then we can just click on add a pixel. Okay, so pixel name, the fig code demo accounts pixel. The website, we can add that later and then just click on continue. And then let's set up the pixel now. Okay, so here there's a couple of different ways to install the pixel. The first is with a partner integration. So if you use say Shopify, Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, a lot of the, the really popular website builders, there's probably a partner integration. The great thing with this, you essentially just need the pixel ID number, and then you copy and paste that, say on Squarespace, what we use that I'm gonna show you in a second. And then it's gonna add everything from purchases, add to cart. There's no none of the events or kind of additional customization that you need to add. It's just give Squarespace that number, and then everything is taken care of. The manually adding the pixel is a little bit more complicated for our landing page software, lead pages or our sales page software, SamCart, we're gonna have to go in and manually add things, which I'm gonna show you as well. So for the partner integration, here's what it essentially looks like with Squarespace. So you just literally, here's what it looks like logged in, click on marketing, go down to Facebook pixel and ads, add your pixel ID here, save this, good to go, nothing else to do. And then so all of the purchases, everything else that happens within Squarespace is gonna be sent to Facebook, super, super easy. But where it gets a little bit more complicated is to manually add the pixel code. So here, the first step is to copy to the clipboard the base code. So I copied this, and then you're gonna to want to add this, it says right here, to the header section of your site before the end of the head tag. If you're not familiar with this, it's really, really easy, so don't, don't stress out here. I know it's a bunch of numbers and letters and stuff that you don't have to know anything about coding to get this to work. But I'm gonna show you one little trick to know if your pixel is working or not. So this is the Facebook Pixel Helper. What you wanna do is add this Chrome extension so you can basically test and know if the pixel is working properly or not. Okay, so here's one of our landing pages and I'll show you how the Pixel Helper works. And so you can see here, here's our pixel and page views are being tracked. So we know that we install stuff correctly and we're good to go. Okay, so here is our thank you page and you're gonna notice something a little different. This says the number three next to it instead of two. And so you see page view and lead. So what happens if someone visits the landing page, it's registered as just a page view. You could run remarketing to people that view that page and didn't actually get to the thank you page and aren't a lead. This is registering as a lead because I'm signed up and was sent to this thank you page. So that's essentially how you can differentiate people with the pixel by adding these custom codes. So to how to go through and add both the base code and the event code, I'll show you. So if we go to lead pages right now, what you're gonna see, so if we go to edit, so this is really, really similar no matter what software you're using. So I think it's really good to kind of go through this. And if you just Google install Facebook pixel 
whatever your software is, there's gonna be step-by-step -step instruction. So here's where the pixel code goes. You can see that I already have one installed, but if this were blank, you know, the pixel code, the base code that I copied and pasted earlier, essentially, you know, I would want to paste in here and then go and save and publish or update, but that it already exists. I don't need it in there twice. Okay, so we'll just leave that as is. And then I'll show you how it's different for the thank you page. So this is where the, the custom events come in that I'll show you, you know, back within the, the pixel creation process as well, but while we're in lead pages. So if we're gonna edit this one, what you're gonna see is just a little, little bit different. So if we go into settings and analytics, here's the pasted base code, but essentially where you see page view, now you have FBQ track lead. So people that get to this page are tagged as a lead. So to kind of show you this here, so it's like, hey, I copied this paste th this already, then I would continue. And then you can either use Facebook's event setup tool or manually add the event code. This you basically go to the page and tell it, you know, what events happen. So the thank you page, you go and say, hey, this is a lead, mark it as that. But I'll also show you to manually add an event code as well. So if we click on this, what you're gonna see, here are all the different options you could potentially have for codes and so what you're going to want to do so let's say a purchase so we're going to say you know what is the current the amount so let's say 17 bucks and usd and then what you're going to see now is basically this is the code that you would want to copy onto that page so you can just have the open and close script like this that's kind of separate from your base code or the other thing is you can just add from the fbq all the way down to the end within the base code so i would basically copy this and this is what you're going to use for the custom conversions so then i would just click done and there we go i mean it's obviously i'm not using it yet so there's no activity here i'll show you also what that looks like in a second so to show you another example we use samcart for our sales pages so in the settings, you, you're adding something to all of the pages. So down here you have Google Analytics, the Facebook pixel, and then what you're gonna see here is just page view. So all of our sales pages, page views are being tracked kind of before the purchase. But then for the actual purchases, we add the custom conversion, the event code that I showed you a second ago. So if we look at this one and go to advanced settings, you're gonna see here is the pixel code. And like I mentioned before, you have the page view right here. And then essentially this is what was all added to it. So we have the value USD, the name of the product being sold. And then now anytime someone purchases, you can see this as fire pixel scripts after an order is completed. So every page view is tracked. And then when someone purchases, this is being sent back to Facebook. So to show you what it looks like with this, with an account that's already set up, we can essentially switch to the fig codes. And so what you're gonna see now is gonna be a little bit different if we go to data sources, pixels, and then let's open it in events manager. And then here's all the information that we're gonna have access to. So here's all the page views. So there was 58,000 over the last 28 days. The, you can have either complete registration or leads are essentially the same thing. You have the purchase being tracked. We don't really use initiate checkout. So this number is kind of off, but once you have everything set up, you have all this data here, then you can use this to track how well your Facebook ads are doing and also create audiences from this. So I wanna share two additional resources with you and I'll put links to those down below in the description. The first are the specifications for Facebook pixel standard events. So if you wanna add any of these events, it essentially the name of the different action and the code that you want to add. So add to cart, add payment information, wish list, registration, contact, donate, location, initiate checkout lead, purchase, etc. This is essentially the different the Facebook pixel code you're going to need to add for each of these events. And for an additional layer of information for the events, here are the different what are called object properties. For example, add to cart, you could say that the content, the name, the contents currency value. You know, if we scroll down further to lead, it could be content category, content name that you could add that would be sent as well as the fact that the person who performed this action um, is now a lead. 
And then here's all the different things you could add for purchases. All right, that's all there is to it, to creating a pixel and getting up on your website. So you're sending a wealth of information back to Facebook so you can profitably run ads. If you're just getting started with Facebook ads, you should definitely check out our Facebook ads video for beginners. I'll link to that right here. Hope to see you in future videos. Bye-bye.